Okay. So one of the term in our Ricci decomposition for Riemann tensor was C nu nu alpha beta. Uh, and this is traceless. There's no trace. Um, uh, this is called the Weyl tensor. So basically Riemann tensor has 20 independent components and uh, Ricci tensor has 10 independent component and um, uh, Weyl component has the other 10 independent components. Um, now Ricci tensor, well actually um, some of the properties that Weyl tensor is zero for 3D geometry. Um, what else? Uh, it has all the properties, algebraic properties. Of Riemann tensor. And in, in addition, it is traceless. Um, moreover, um, we did talk about a formula telling that uh, what is the geometrical meaning of Ricci tensor and we said it tells how the volume element changes as it, as it moves down uh, geodesic um, or uh, um, I mean the, when it follows the space-time curvature let's say if you have volume element it follows the space-time curvature how does the volume changes for this volume element I do not have a similar formula for wild tensor but uh, we know that what is the contribution of wild tensor? Well, wild tensor is encodes the stretching and squeezing property of space time or space-time curvature, yeah. So it may happen that the space-time curvature be maybe such that it can stretch or squeeze something. For example, you may have a, a such thing like this, and if it moves uh, through space-time, it can actually get elongated, or it can actually get squeezed, stretched or squeezed, something like that. Now, how do we know this property? Well, we know this from um, the fact that if there is no matter present, where by matter I mean there's the stress energy tensor is zero, we'll talk about that. If T mu nu is zero, that means it's free space. In that case, Riemann tensor is also zero because of Einstein's equation. We'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about this later. This is zero. The only so the ten components of the Ricci tensor are gone, but it's still Riemann tensor has ten components remaining with wild tensor and this uh, and this is actually seen as gravitational waves let me summarize what I'm trying to say here in the free space Einstein equation have solution which are called gravitational waves and the property of gravitational wave is stretching and squeezing. In also in free space, the only component of Riemann tensor that remains alive is the Weyl tensor, uh, because Ricci tensor is zero, because T mu nu is zero, and T mu nu is zero because of Einstein's equations. Ricci tensor is zero. So this stretching and squeezing property can be attributed to the Weyl tensor part of the Riemann tensor. This is very qua qualitative. Um, I don't know how to make it quantitative, but as we proceed, uh, I'll try to do that.
but right now um, this, this is the information I have regarding wild tensor and uh, we'll talk more in the following